Hey guys, this is Jonathan Wampler. We're back in the booth today. And today what we're gonna do is uh, paint a crackle shad. And what I did guys is uh, I went on my lure and I sprayed some opaque white. I heat set it and I went back with some carbon black. Let it dry real well. Then I hit it with some uh, UVLS and dried it real well. Then uh, what I did was uh, over the white I just uh, I put, uh, I mean, over the black, I put uh, some crackle medium, and you can find that crackle medium at Hobby Lobby. And uh, so I did all that off camera. So and I was gonna talk to you about these eyes. I got these realistic eyes at Lure Build. Jimmy's got a bunch of different variety of eyes. He's got uh, his own color shift paint, his, all, his own uh, Lure brand stuff. Uh, he's pretty much like a one shop drop. You can get everything there for Lure painting. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, uh, I went ahead and I mixed some uh, eye candy pigments and uh, I'm gonna uh, spray some color shift through my scaling. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take it out of standing real wet, real quick. Let me get my, my scaling. And with this scaling here, it's just a shire loofah that I got at Walmart and I also got this wooden wheel at Walmart as well. And what we're gonna do is uh, I kind of turn it sideways because you want your scale your scale pattern uh, sideways where you get like a like a diamond shape, more like a realistic shad uh, scales. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put it down here like so, and I'm gonna get me a bigger bottle to hold it in place where my scales won't move. That's, that's the key to this. You don't want your scales to move whatsoever. Because if they move or if you uh, spray on high pressure, you'll uh, muddy up your artwork and you don't want that. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to get some eye pigments here, eye candy uh, pigments, and you can find that eye candy color strip paint at www.eyecandypigments.com, and they got a, a bunch of different colors. And today what I'm going to do is like a, a blue raspberry color shift that I got. Let's see how it sprays real fast. Okay, we're good right there. I'm gonna go right here on my scales and play, spray this color shift. Real white. I'm just gonna let my air hit it to dry. That's all I'm doing right here. Hit it just a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Take it off real easy. Okay, and that's what you get. Let me uh, heat set this real quick. Okay, uh, off camera I heat set it, and this is what kind of scale pattern you got. It's got like a blue, like a real, real dark blue to like a, a purple shift. So we're gonna do the same uh, principle like we did on the last side. I'm just gonna put it over here real quick. Let me get a bigger bottle to hold it in place. We're just gonna spray the color ship. Real light. You don't wanna spray on the uh, the gill area because if you look at a real shad, they don't have uh, neck scales. You want it more on the spine. I'm just drying it with some uh, cold air. And that's what you'll get. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it back in the helping hand. And all I'm gonna do now, as you see the scales, I'm just gonna uh, hit the back and run the eyes a little bit and just uh, blend everything in together real light. Just do a couple passes. Real light. The eyes that you touch. Other eye. And the crackle effect gave it an awesome uh, crackle effect. You can see like right here. If you want bigger cracks, uh, spray on higher pressure. If you want real small uh, cracks, you know, with the crackle effect, you want to kind of uh, drop your pressure down to probably like 10 PSI. 
So just give me one second. I'm going to heat set this. Okay, so the next step what we're going to do is I'm going to use this little crappie stencil and I'm going to spray some sepia down uh, towards the adela line and around the uh, cheeks and stuff. Give me one second. I went ahead and cleaned the stencil where I can see what I'm doing. Around the gill plates a little bit. All right, we're back. Uh, I loaded up some white already in my gun. And the next step, what we're going to do is the shad dot. Then after I heat set that, I'm going to come back in with a little bit of black and give it like a highlight. So guys, if you like my channel, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please share. If I can get 100 more views, uh, I'll do a, a giveaway. And also, uh, if you're all uh, struggling with patterns, uh, give me some ideas. Whatever you might like to send me paint, just put them... Uh, in the uh, comments below i really appreciate that i like to paint what you guys uh want me to paint so we're just gonna do the shad dot real fast and i got this art tool stencil mm, this is a pretty cool little, little stencil That's what the shadow dot looks like. Do the other side real fast. Give me a second, I'm gonna wash my gun out real fast. Okay, so I load up some black, and we're just gonna uh, repeat the progress right here. Let's see what it is. Like a little highlight, turn out nice. Do the other side real fast. That's what, what it gives you. So what we're going to do now is put the eyes in. I'm going to go with these realistic eyes that I got from Lower Build. But if you're all looking for some cool eyes, cool blanks, cool swim baits, hit up uh, James Ganoon over at LowerBuild.com. He's got anything you want, guys, for lower painting. So let me get my Zecto knife real fast. The eyes in. I'm gonna get me a little uh, little Q-tip and push the eyes in. Let me do the other side, and I'll let you look at that.
And there it is, guys. The Blue Raspberry Color Shift Shad. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please share. Um, let me know your thoughts on the Shad in the comments. And uh, what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to spray the ULS gloss over this to lock all my colors in and give it that real nice finished look after clear coat it'll pop. So I appreciate the support. I appreciate all you guys. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye.